APIs explained for a business audience. There's a lot of chatter around the concept of APIs nowadays, so I thought I'd take a shot at explaining this age-old concept for a business audience. Let's say we have a machine running some software or computer program. This program uses data and logic to do something useful. You need a way to access this program. The program can be accessed through what's called an API or an application program interface. A program may have multiple APIs. In this picture, we have three APIs. Who can access this API? It could be another machine running software. It could be a human accessing the API through a computer on her side. For example, when Helen uses her laptop to make a payment to Amazon for a purchase and gets confirmation, she is invoking an API. Now let's take a look at some simple code to illustrate the API concept written in the programming language Python. The first line is a very simple computer program that simply prints out the word hello. We'd like to personalize this program. The next line defines a function called greeting which takes in a name and prints a personalized greeting. The word greeting and the inputs it accepts is the API. When this API is invoked with the input such as Lily, we get a personalized greeting for Lily. Likewise for Thomas. Say we're running a company that makes some products and when customers order these products, we want to generate a personalized letter. I'll write an API called thanks product that prints out a thank you statement. If we pass in a red balloon as the input, the program prints out a thank you statement. Let's add a little more complexity. If the customer lives in Chicago, we can send a technician to install the product. But if not, we'll just offer phone support. Depending on where the customer lives, we want to print out two different statements. Finally, there's a function that computes the cost of the product purchased. You might have a complex way of computing this, but for illustration, I've kept it very simple. The transmorgifier costs $99, while everything else costs $67. Okay, now that we have APIs, we can invoke them in a certain order. First, the greeting API. Next, the thanks products API. Followed by the location API, and then the cost API. Here's one run of it. We can also create a super API that includes the above sequence. This super API we'll call print letter and then we can call it directly. The next two statements call the print letter API with different arguments or inputs. See how the results are customized for each customer, Raj and Sandy? That's what an API is. It's a simple interface to access the functionality of a program. Specialized and complex APIs can be developed by many companies for all kinds of things. Your company may invoke these APIs to leverage the algorithms developed by these companies. This will make your architecture dynamic and flexible to continuously adapt to changes in the business environment. This means that your company can orchestrate the APIs in some unique sequence without having to build all its own specialized work. That's the power of APIs. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching.